Congratulations on making it this far. There's one more step and it's the most important step in putting your heart virtue to work in your life. This is the step where you actually get to take your heart virtue out into the world and experience it. So what we're going to ask you to do is to speak your heart virtue for the next seven days in every conversation. Now, hold on just a minute. I know that sounds like a lot, but listen, you've been living your life from the outside in long enough. You've been living your life to please others, to make other people feel comfortable long enough. Now, there's six billion people on this planet. It's okay to make a fool of yourself with a few of them so that you can experience something incredibly rewarding and incredibly meaningful to you. And that's the, that's the, the doorway that every hero throughout history had to go through. It's the doorway of the fool. I had to do it. Everyone that's spoken their heart virtue and has said, this is extraordinary. This is the most amazing thing. I'm committing to myself what's most meaningful to me and all my other relationships are working out beautifully because of it. So speaking your heart virtue in every conversation is very simple. Next time you pick up the phone, before you hang that phone up, at some point in that conversation, you let the person know, I am committed to, and you give them the sentence that is your heart virtue. The next time you uh, are in a grocery store and there's someone that you just make eye contact or if the lady behind the counter says, how are you today? Can I have your credit card? You say, great, and I am committed to, and you speak your heart virtue. Now this may be out of place. This may seem a little abnormal. Well, that's the whole point. You took this assessment because you wanted to know your heart virtue so that you could be living more naturally instead of fitting in and going along to get along and be normal. And here's what's really beautiful that you don't realize. If you speak your heart virtue in conversations, other people will start to ask themselves, huh, what's most meaningful to me? I mean, here's a person that's being bold about what's meaningful to them. So you'll start to give other people permission to start communicating with you on a level that's meaningful. After a while, if you speak your heart virtue and you continue to speak it, you'll establish a reputation. And that's where things get really great. Because once you're actually living your heart virtue by speaking it in every conversation, you're going to experience what Gandhi said. Be the change you want to see in the world. Now, I like the saying, be the change you want to see in the room. Your heart virtue is your license to bring that experience into any room. Just as Mother Teresa had a license for compassion. Just as Martin Luther, Luther King had a license for brotherhood. And Abraham Lincoln had a license for unity. You have a license to create the experience of your heart virtue everywhere you, know, everywhere you go. And here's what I want you to know. You're not alone in this. If you go out and speak your heart virtue, there are invisible forces outside you that will open doors and push you forward because you're actually cooperating with evolution. You're cooperating with your own self-actualization. So, I'm not going to ask you to trust me. I'm going to ask you to test me. Go out and speak your heart virtue so that you can have the experience of really committing to your life of really making the difference for yourself and having the relationship with you be so profoundly powerful, so intact that your self-esteem goes sky high and then you can really afford to bring a lot to other relationships in your life. It starts by speaking your heart virtue. You've come this far, you've identified it, you've gone through the process, so take that final step. Right now, pick up the phone, speak your heart virtue to someone that means the most to you.